Hello everyone and welcome to Fishing Planet with your host YouTube Ghost. I wanted to give you is a tip how to fish catfish in Texas. Let's begin. So, as you can see that we are in Texas, of here is going to be the basic beginning of your adventure as a fisherman we're gonna be starting with years level one two and three and when you're gonna get to four here the adventure starts because you're gonna learn how to catch bigger fish that's the catfish and the smallmouth buffalo which is a good fish and it's gonna be a really good battle with that fish but that fish is gonna come into another episode Right now, you're, we are more interested into the catfish. So let's begin. First, you have to go into the shop, go to rods, the telescopic ones. As you can see already, I'm level 14. I advanced very really high up. At level 4, you're going to get your telefloat, telescopic rods, which is really good. You can get to that distance where you want to catch the catfish the catfish into Texas is right in the middle of the lake so you want is the telefloat which has a much more higher casting range that's good afterwards you're gonna go to spinning reels you want to get is a level 4 then inspire cast which already have the, teles the telescopic rod telefloat I have it already as well you go to lines you're gonna go for the level 4 mono point zero zero seven, which is going to be uh, where is it? not that one my apologies is the 3 pound one which one I, did I get ah this one is the the same one zero zero seven, five hundred 500 yards 3 pounds until in my backpack all right, now afterwards you want to get yourself is hooks. I think you already have is the basic hooks, which is going to be 10 is the 10, 8, 6, 4, and 2. You're more interesting to hook 6. This is the best hook to catch your catfish. Now afterwards you're going to go to barbers. When you're going to get to level four you need to get yourself is the chubby or this chubby you can choose which chubby you want i prefer to have this one because it's a really good chubby bobber the color is black red and light green it's really good that green when it's getting really dark outside is like a fluorescent color so it will show you where exactly is your bobber the other one not so good but this one is the best for this kind of thing and plus it's for maximum floats of weight high so when you're gonna when you're going to have is a bait which is really big it's really good afterwards you have all of this you go to bait you want to get yourself is the small cut bait which is for catfish afterwards you're gonna have if you want is pet food still for catfish as well and after when you advance from your small cut bait you advance to level five and get your corn yes your corn in lake texas is the best one that you can catch is catfish and bullhead or carp not carp actually only there you go forget about Piece because it doesn't work here but if you want you can still spend some money and try it out for yourself it works a bit but quite slow for some reason like that. so you must you must be interested in to small cut bait which is seven bucks you can spend about get yourself about 50 pieces it will be enough over there and if you want to try with pet food as well doggy food cat food what is it so it's obviously cat so cat food there we go even cheese as well works but not quite not that good you know just a bit over there 
it's different. Okay, let's go to the map. You can choose how many days you want. I'm just gonna choose five. All right, so we're gonna choose a what do you want to fish? Must remember this one. The most productive fishing time is around early in the morning, which is this one. Yeah. And in the evening as well. When it's like this, the water is really cold. And this one is not good if you want to fish for catfish. No, 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 no. For this one, you have to press is T for past timing. Get about the time of 11, 12, when it's about midday. And the temperature of the water is really good. And it will keep, you're gonna have your fish coming up. Free is for late evening fishing. So get your uh, catfish channel, as you can see over here, it says range of fish species such as if you want to go best time for going after a range of fish species such as the crappy channel catfish wally and many others many others it means if you want to go for the pike bass or carp so we're gonna choose is this one the first day and for the best position for your catfish and small buffalo is home sweet home let's go over there random room it doesn't matter how it is you can choose how you want so remember home sweet home follow the path one rock two rocks there we go the fishing rod has been placed I already have that on like so now as you can see over here over there in front, there will be some big rocks. Set your casting, and you can see where are the rocks. Now, you don't have to cast that far away. No, 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 no. You're gonna come a bit back, like so. You know, cast over there. I forgot to mention the leader length must be at 80 and through the midday you can keep it up on 80 but if you want you can reduce it to 60 so these are good things 60 80 between them if you want to catch your catfish 99 it's good as well but your bubble won't stay in a straight position I'm gonna be diagonal or vertical or flat so you want it to be straight you have to keep your ring speed high drag on the fourth speed so it won't be so much drag and you have to fight your fish you want to keep it as much as on the grip you want to hold it really tight now let's see if the fish wants to bite just need to wait just remember what I'm going to do As you can see that I'm holding my fishing rod really high so this way we'll keep the fish high there we go we caught is a young channel catfish one pound 429 so that's a good fish you're gonna keep it so as you can see what I've done I'm gonna cast again no it's not good position you always need to cast it one rock the other rock there are about three big rocks over there so you have to cast it over here all the time between those rocks over there I'm gonna show you again. When the fish pulls, you pull as well. But 
you want to keep your telescopic rod or pole upwards and you'll see why you have to keep it upwards here we go oh, I got away bloody catfish again It was a quite small one because it didn't have that force. As you can see, he's playing with the bobber. He's interested in the food, in the bait. When you see something like that, just have patience. There you go. This is the big one. So as you can see that I'm holding my rod upwards. It will drag the fish out so it won't have any more force and stability for him as well. Because that way the fish will start to go to the left, to the right and cause some battle for you. But this way you're going to drag the fish out of the water it won't have any more it won't have his flaps under his control in the water so it will be only about his belly and tail so you're gonna have the control of him so that's the way you have to fish plus keep in mind when you're gonna fish over here obviously you're gonna catch your panfish blue gill crappy and uh, sunfish yeah you just need to pay attention to your catfish so that fish you're gonna release it but you're gonna keep the experience points from that fish but the bucks no you're gonna be interested only into the catfish catfish is your main interest so we're gonna fish again catch another one so we cut I caught two. The bobber, as you can see, it's stabilized straight. That means the tackle doesn't reach the bottom. It's almost to the bottom, as you can see again. So here we go. Oh, bloody thing. My update just popped up. Let's do it again. Show you that you can catch a lot of catfish. Now over there the bobber is really close to the edge where is the middle because in the middle the water is much more bigger. Like so. So it will stabilize itself slowly and slowly. Still, that won't stop you to catch your catfish. So, as you can see, if I let it go, there's going to be that battle. But still, I'm going to keep the fish really high. Very good fish. So we're gonna keep it. Like I said, you throw the small fish, keep the catfish. If your uh, keep net is filled up, you don't need to leave the map. You're just gonna press on T, fast forward time to the next day going to be again 4 a.m. pass forward and you'll get to your table which shows the results how many fish you caught you're gonna earn your experience points and your cash click continue your keep net has been emptied now you can continue fishing and so on and so on that's the way you have to do it on each map you're gonna fish so let's quit over here the map leave 
like so. There we go. It showed me how much fish I caught, experience, which I need to fix is my fishing rod case. Seven cases. One case, seven rods. Now, when you got yourself to level four as well, you have to go to landing, fishing nets, and everything. So, you're gonna have is basic one, which is up to five pounds. Now, you don't need to. Well, you can get obviously this one, which is at level one. You can get it to you nine pounds, but this is not a friendly fish keeper. It's the one which kills it. Bye bye. So you need to get if you want you can get yourself this one, which is Gary Gary Scott Fish Hut Keep Net Extra Small will get you to thirteen pounds of fish. You can hold the fish over there much more weight. But if you want to hold the line, keep it this way. Keep yourself to the one which is still at the first one, like so. What you can get yourself is this one at nine pounds. Keep it this way until you're gonna get to five or six from over there. If you want, you can get yourself the 17.5 pounds. Or, or yes, there is an or. Get yourself is the level three at 18 coins at each level. You're gonna get yourself is coins. So you're gonna buy yourself is a level three Bastille fish stringer, 18 coins. And you're gonna have is 20 pounds of weight. Durability is high, very really good. Like so, you can have it, enjoy it. Well, now <clears throat> I'm gonna end this episode over here. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't like it, give it a dislike. Leave your comments in the comment section if you want to know more tips about fishing. Until next time, YouTube. Ghost, logging off. Bye-bye.